Hello everyone. Here we will be discussing how much testing is really enough. Testing scope. Software testing is an important activity in the SDLC. It consumes about 35 to 40 percentage of the total budget. Testing is necessary, but to test each and every part of software is not feasible. It is possible to do enough testing, but determining how much is enough is really difficult. If a lot of bugs are found with a planned set of test cases, it is likely that more testing will be required to assure that the required level of software quality is achieved. On the other hand, if very few bugs are found with a planned set of set test cases, then no more testing may be required. One should always ensure that the software works as described in the software requirement specification. Scope of testing depends upon the size and complexity of the software, how much new integration is required in the existing system and the knowledge and experience of the project team. Complete testing is not possible. It is not possible to execute all combination of path during testing. It should always be the balance of effort and cost versus time. Testing when to stop. All testers come across this typical question as to when to stop testing. Fact is that testing can never be considered complete. We can never be able to prove scientifically that our software is free from errors now. Most common factors helpful in deciding when to stop testing are Stop the testing when deadlines like release deadlines or testing deadlines have reached. Stop the testing when the testing budget comes to its end. Stop the testing when the test cases have been executed and recommended pass percentage is achieved. Stop the testing when the functionality requirements come to a desired level. Stop the testing when bad grades drops below a prescribed level. This means all the high priority bugs are fixed. The rate of bugs are found to be too small extra. Testing metrics can help the testers to take better and accurate decisions like when to stop testing or when the application is ready for release. The usual way is to have a fixed number of test cases ready well before the beginning of the test execution cycle. Then execute all the test cases in every test cycle and stop the testing when all the test cases are passed. Alternatively, testing can also be stopped when percentage of failure in the last testing cycle is observed to be extremely low. But the most optimistic stop stopping rule is to stop testing when either requirement meet the desired expectation or the benefit from continuing testing cannot justify the testing cost. Thank you.